iPhone 10 launches in India with long queues. Some Pixel 2 XL devices reportedly delivered without Android. Asus Pegasus 4S launched. Today is November 3rd and this is 360 Daily. Talks about iPhone 10 not being in demand seems highly overrated now that the iPhone 10 is on sale in India as huge queues were visible outside Apple retailers in Delhi NCR and in Mumbai. A retailer in South Delhi told Gadgets 360 that only those who pre-booked the smartphone with them would be able to pick it up on launch day on Friday and everyone else may as well forget it for the next 3 to 4 days at least. There seems to be no end to Google's woes when it comes to the new Pixel 2 devices. The latest issue to have been reported by some Pixel 2 XL buyers is receiving a unit without an operating system. There are multiple threads on Reddit on the issue and almost all users complain about the same message welcoming them. Can't find valid operating system, the device will not start. Not the best Android experience for these guys, is it? The iPhone 10 is reported to be a benchmark for the primary camera of upcoming 2018 iPhone models. Ming Chiko of KGI Securities claims that Apple is set to retain the 6 element rear lens system of the iPhone 10 for the next generation iPhone models. The new claim aligns with a previous report by the same analyst predicting the adoption of the true depth camera on all of the next year's iPhone models. ASUS joins the Elite 18-9 Display Club with the launch of the new ASUS Pegasus 4S. It sports a 5.7-inch display with HD plus screen resolution, an all-metal body and a dual camera setup at the back. The company is also touting the large 4030 mAh battery on the Pegasus 4S. There's no word on pricing or availability, but we can expect the device to be available in China soon. Indian Railways has increased the monthly cap of tickets booked on the IRTC portal from 6 to 12 for Aadhaar verified passengers, officials said. The move, which came into effect on October 26th, is believed to be an innovative way for the railways to encourage passengers to link their Aadhaar numbers to their online booking accounts on IRCTC. And that's it for this edition of 360 Daily. For all things tech, log on to Gadgets360.com.